सीक्रेट टू माय सक्सेस इज प्रैक्टिस जर द वर्ड्स ऑफ डेविड बेकम वेल दिस इज ट्रू फॉर एवरी वन इन एवरी फील्ड एंड नॉट जस्ट द फुटबॉल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ सक्सेसफुल डेवलपर यू विल हैव टू प्रैक्टिस हार्ड वी नो इट एंड हैंस वी ब्रिंग अ प्रैक्टिस वीडियो एवरी सैटरडे इन टूडे स्पाइथन एक्सरसाइज वी विल सी हाउ टू चेक एन आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर But what exactly is an Armstrong number? A number is an Armstrong number if the sum of its digit raised to the power of number of digit is equal to the original number. For example, consider number one fifty three. It's a three digit number. So we will calculate one power three plus five raised to three plus three raised to three. Well, it's equal to one fifty three. Hence. 153 is an armstrong number consider a number 127 again it's a three digit number so we will calculate 1 power 3 2 power 3 plus 7 power 3 well the sum is 352 hence 127 is not an armstrong number for a four digit number like 1634 we will write One raised to four, six raised to four, and for all the digit like this, and sum them. If the sum is one six three four, then the number is Armstrong number. So now you know what is an Armstrong number. Let's write a program for that. Accept the number in variable num. Don't convert it into an integer. Now calculate the length of num variable using len function, and Store the result in variable l. Now write the if statement. Then the condition if l equal to equal to one followed by a colon. Inside if indent, print the message that number is an Armstrong number because all single digits are Armstrong number. Now write else. Inside else, first convert the num variable into an integer like this. Then store the num value in variable temp, and also initialize a sum variable with value zero. Now we need to write the while because we are not sure of number of digits. It could be three, four, or even five. We will write a loop, and inside loop we will extract digits one by one until no more numbers are left. So our condition will be temp greater than zero, like. This inside while loop, write the statement r equal to temp mod ten to calculate the remainder. So if our number is one fifty three, remainder will be three. Now calculate the power using the exponential operator and store the result in x variable like this. And then add the result to sum variable. Then get the remaining digit using the Floor operator, and store that in the temp variable like this. If our value is one fifty three, after the first iteration, value in R will be three, the value in sum will be twenty seven, and the value in temp will be fifteen due to the floor operator. In the next iteration, the value in R will be five, the value in sum will be. Twenty-seven plus one twenty-five. That is one fifty-two, and the value in temp will be one. In the third iteration, the value in R will be one, the value in sum will be one fifty-three, and the temp will become zero, and loop will break. Now write the condition to check the sum and value in num variable. If the result is true, we will display this message. If the result is false, then the number is not an Armstrong number. Let's run the program and enter the number as one twenty three. Well, the number is not an Armstrong number. Please check your program with different input. If any questions, put them in the comment box. And one more thing, please share this video with your friends. This will help them to get good marks in exam. If you don't want to miss any video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.